It's not uncommon in the Balanced View training that someone will say, wow, I feel so depressed today, and suddenly there's a smile on their face, like they just received a one million prize uh, in the lottery, or, uh, you know, I hate myself, and, and laugh at the same time, and uh, or I'm have this and that and the other thing. And it's not because we take something that makes us feel this way, it's just because everyone here are getting to know reality exactly as it is, you know? So it's not a state of detachment where one is trying to not feel or not sense or observe reality as some kind of a cat watching a mouse. Now, I really love cats, but I don't want to be in a state of a cat watching a mouse. Open intelligence uh, cat watching the data mice and ready to pounce on them and catch them and kill them if needed. <laughs> open intelligence is vast and open all of the time. And open intelligence, when we speak about it in the first times, it can sound like, well, open intelligence is somewhere out there. But it's actually our true identity. It's actually who we are. Our intelligence is always opening, opening, opening intelligence, like a clear blue sky. So the sense of limitation that I carried with me and I chose uh, to live from my entire life through meeting the Balance View training, gradually and quite quickly opened up and collapsed. We are talking about clarifying and outshining our thoughts, emotions and sensations. We are not talking about avoiding them, indulging them or replacing them. And within these categories, you can also have the accepting or rejecting. Like for my entire life, I tried to accept myself. This was an effort. I tried to accept myself while trying to reject the, thing that, the, the things that I didn't like about myself. The depression, the anger, the anxiety, the arrogance and pride. All the things that I labeled as negative and naughty. Ooh. <laughs> You know, a good human being from a good family <laughs> with, a, uh, with a great education and with this world experience of being a world traveler shouldn't feel arrogance and pride, right? We question it. <laughs> we question it. And open intelligence supports us in short moments many times, aligning ourselves with reality. So it's great to have lots of afflictive states. Don't be afraid of that. And I had to face self-hatred as well because all of my life I tried to love myself in a certain way and loving myself entailed that I have warm and cozy feelings in my heart and my thoughts about myself are, oh, Saf, you're so great, I love you, <laughs> I want to marry you, <laughs> oh you're the best, oh wait arrogance and pride, don't come in, don't come in. So <laughs> you see the entire dialogue and proliferates to some kind of uh, insanity, now we have the opportunity to simply relax in short moments many times. Complete relaxation. Complete relaxation is not a special state, it's just a natural state. You see, there's a great difference there. Rather than someone trying to get into something, we just say, hey, it's already there. Like sky is always present, inexhaustible. It makes living life so easy. My life is getting simpler and simpler. Each day that is passing by and each day that I live this Four Mainstays lifestyle, before there were many problems, like if we would have met eight years ago, I would share with you all of my problems. Help me, I have many problems. Ups and downs, unpredictable ups and downs. I don't know what to do with them. And trying so hard to tame them and contain them so I, you know, by doing so many crazy things here in India especially, many crazy things, and many things that are considered to be normal but they are totally crazy, <laughs> like trying to get rid of negative thoughts and emotions. Natural confidence is shining within all data streams and we don't need to make it the, the case, it's already the case. So simply relax exactly as you are. And when meeting the Balance View training, I, I had lots of I think that I started to seek for open intelligence since I was six years old. So, and I met the training when I was 25, and now I'm 32. Make the calculation. Six to 25. Many years of, of just wanting the answer, wanting to have role models, wanting to have some, a practice that I can rely on. 
wanting to have an advice, an instruction, wanting to receive media that will support me rather than diminish me, like saying, you know, I heard the other day a, a local TV show where, I, I, initially I thought it's like a, a comedy show because someone was there like preaching that, yeah, some people think they're good but everyone's bad, so don't think that you're good. First thing in the morning, that's what people are listening to. You're bad, you're bad, you're bad. And I, initially I really thought, uh, wait, it's like the comedy channel. But, but then I saw that it's the education in the nature of mind channel. Mm -hmm. Or we can rename it miseducation in the nature of mind. So coming here and we see, wow, everything about us is naturally perfect exactly as it is. Low confidence included in open intelligence, inseparable from open intelligence. Don't try to be confident in what what does it mean to be confident in a certain way? Constantly when I come to, to give talks, I feel like I'm about to die. <laughs> My heart is beating. If you were tested, you would probably send me to to <laughs> to Dr. Milton and you know. But there's nothing, you know, it's like a line drawn in water. Heart do whatever you want to do, thoughts do whatever they want to do. Freedom in immediacy of perception, that's the key. That's the key. That's the secret key that now is public and available for everyone. Because if we'll sit there with our little identities, oh, I wish I wouldn't be nervous in front of <laughs> 90 people. <laughs> I hope my mom will hold my hand if I will collapse and, you know, and <laughs> short moments of complete freedom in immediacy of perception. That gives us the right that we are all looking for, the right to feel and think exactly as we are. And when, you know, there's a great fear for many people, and it was for me in the beginning, and I asked the trainers very directly, I said, if I will allow myself to think and feel, allow my data streams to flow on by wildly, it won't be a nice scenery around me. I, might, I felt I would be j dangerous, you know, really allowing everything to be as it is. And the confirmation I got, and also through short moments and through the trainer, the training and the community, the example of others, I saw that I'm becoming more normal. I'm not becoming more crazy if I allow myself to be exactly as I am. I know what to do. There's clarity inseparable from all descriptions, the ability to know how to be of benefit in each time, place, circumstance and result. So open intelligence is responsive. There's not like a set rule of book, uh, like a rule, rules that say, when you are depressed, you know, uh, take ten short moments <laughs> and think about Baskin Robbins ice cream. <laughs> and then each time that this data stream arises, you really, wait, what did the book say? I, I need to take and then you forget and so here we say time place and circumstance you know we just know how to respond and we gain confidence in that in the power of open intelligence to inform all situations and that's brilliant because I really wanted to you know if I feel sad what should I do short moments that's the solution so right there you have a great solution or relying on the other four mainstays all the tight, tight ideas about what we can do as human beings and what we are not allowed to do, how we should behave, how we should look like, dress. Everything is released and suddenly there's a clear view and it's taking responsibility so it's not another extreme. And when I said before about doing crazy things in India, there was also the other extreme. Everything is free. If I hate you, you will all know about it because I'm free. <laughs> Or if I love you, we'll get into another place, because I'm free. <laughs> but here we're talking about taking responsibility for our potency, how to use it for the benefit of all. Not as a concept, but a lived reality. So that's just amazing. So from being an uptight person, even although I thought I'm quite cool and fine, I was really uptight. There was always, what should I think right now? What should I feel right now? I hope no one sees what I think right now. You know, the closing down now, there's opening, opening, in short moments many times. And we are all capable of it. So even if you see anything, oh, it sounds really cool, but not for me. I'm too much of an idiot. Or <laughs> that was my thought. Uh, I'm, too, I'm too uptight or I'm Israeli, it won't work for me. 
<laughs> where we come from, there's no open intelligence. I can tell you there is. <laughs> there is. Waiting for everyone to recognize it. That's the fire of benefit, really, the wish to be of benefit. Self-hatred is included. Many times I had the thought, I hate myself. And, and, um, and now I feel that if I have this, the thought, I'll hate myself, it's inseparable from perfect love. Like you smiled and beamed like a bright sun when you asked this question. So there's no need to question it anymore. It's obvious. In short moments, many times, open intelligence becomes obvious. <coughs> There's complete assurance, so it's not like a practice, like the short moments we will need to take for the rest of our life. At one point, the recognition becomes obvious and instinctive in all moments. And then what we want to do is to really be of benefit. I know for myself, I enjoyed quite from the beginning the the release and fun, wow, I can really allow myself to be as I am. It's so, it's so great. A and suddenly many things opened up for me and many o options and opportunities. And I walked around in India and I was planning to do all kinds of things. And suddenly I thought, it just came to me, really, all I want to do is to be of benefit and to serve for the benefit of all. So all of this energy that was released is now has the focus and purpose, like really when we ask what is the purpose of life, there's no need to dig anywhere. It's to be of benefit. To be of benefit to all. And that includes ourselves, you know, how to take care of ourselves and how to be with this wild display. Because as we rely on open intelligence, the display becomes more and more wild. Ha <laughs> ha! Crazy wise. The little human beings who are trying to be good and not make mistakes and not bake the banana cake too long and uh, you know not say the one the thing in the wrong time and uh, what a drag! <laughs> it's nice to be free and spontaneous and responsible, so don't forget that one. So, do I have now confidence or lack of confidence or? I don't know. <laughs> That's not my focus, really. When I wake up in the morning, I'm not like, oh, well, interesting, what will I think today? I know it will be totally bizarre and unrelated <laughs> <laughs> to anything. <laughs> you know, so I'm not like, oh, interesting, Asaf, how can you make yourself think about... That's a journalist life. Uh, apologies to all the journalists here, but I'm not trying to get a nice headline. <laughs> I know what is available for me, pure benefit in every moment. That's the confidence that I want. That's the confidence, confidence that you want. It's natural confidence. Allows us to relate to people. You know, now, the, the forgiveness is another idea that many people have, and I also know it. It shows that you want to be of benefit, which is great. In Balance View, we harmonize relationship with everyone, and that's especially through the process of the 12 empowerments which is one of the most amazing, amazing, incredible trainings that one can do. Where you see all the ways that you used to avoid relationships, blame, criticism, judgment, gossip. Do you know what I'm talking about? Attack, avoidance, <laughs> replacement. And then, rather than trying to do something else there, s we have the opportunity to really look at it from the vantage of open intelligence, like being on a mountaintop, seeing all the ways that we taking responsibility, th all the ways that I avoided relationships with my parents, for example. I was a lot traveling in India, and each time I came home, I felt the energies there are not good enough for me, because I gained so much good energies here, so I shouldn't, shouldn't get the bad vibes. <laughs> so I came to, to, to visit my family and stayed most of the time in my room meditating but I didn't relate to them in the respect and dignity that they deserve because I was so afraid that something will harm me. After completing the 12 empowerments and through the process itself, suddenly I saw, wow, my parents are brilliant. They coped with a really, really funny human being <laughs> for so many years. And they chose to support me regardless. Now, I was blind of, for the, of that. I didn't see it before that. 
But through the support of the Four Mainstays, <laughs> suddenly I see, hey, mom and dad, you're actually human beings just like me. And you have thoughts and emotions just like me. Wow, we are so alike. And now I'm available to support you and serve you for the rest of my life. I will not be there to demand from you attention and demand that you treat me in a certain way. That's gone. That's so primitive. I can share that's how I lived before and I don't live like that anymore. It's so primitive. Even though psychology reinforces that and many of the self-help books reinforce as blaming our parents for our data streams, that's total bullshit. <laughs> Pure love is much more easy <laughs> and available in every moment, even if you are pissed off, you see. Parents, and uh, it applies to everyone. That's my day-to-day -day experience. So such, such great gratitude to Candice who, who provided this teaching, has provided this teaching and continue to do so. And also for, for the trainers and all of you who are showing up, it's so important. That's what the world needs today. No, it doesn't need another confusion. It needs just that, open intelligence for the benefit of all.